Hey guys, what I've got right here is a sound manner that I know I've talked about a few times before, but I feel like I need to do it every year because it's just such a special salamander. This is a spotted salamander. And of course it's March right now and this is the only time of the year when you can actually find them roaming around heading to the vernal pools. We actually found this guy about five feet away from a vernal pool about to go in. And for a spotted salamander, he's pretty small. He's only about six or seven inches. They can actually get about 10 inches. This guy might have metamorphed last year. Uh, they're obviously called spotted salamanders because of the bright yellow spots they have on their back. Now, um, this salamander actually lives 95% of their life underground. The other 5% is actually in the vernal pools for breeding. And the salamanders will go into these pools, they'll lay their, have their larvae lay their eggs, the larvae will live in the vernal pools until the summer, in the summer they'll metamorph, and then they'll bury themselves in the ground until the next March when they come back out just for this event all over again and the cycle starts over. Now this salamander, when they first come out, is usually right when the temperatures hit the 50s or the 60s for the first days of the year, right when a warm rain hits, and then these guys will come out, cross the roads, go through the woods, and just come to the vernal pools to breed. They usually come out right about the same time as wood frogs, spring peepers, and chorus frogs. So usually where you find some of these guys, you find a whole bunch of other stuff. And that's exactly what we're hoping to find tonight.